Nikki Manting again, and there's Liz Allen. This is our third and final set for the Folly Special Edition on this beautiful April Friday. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Liz, and she'll uh, she'll get you posted on what's going on. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Mickey. Thanks, VIF. I really appreciate this. It's a fun Friday of Midday Improv. This is awesome. Next up is Imaginary Friends. They're doing a forum we've been working on for quite some time. Well, actually, really, not really quite some time. I mean, this is compared to the Zoom uh, year-long lockdown view. This is a relatively new, congealed, amazingly connected group. I won't say anything else to set your expectations except to say I'm having a blast. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you could put some names, um, just some words, anything you want in the chat, that would be amazing. Uh, I'd like to introduce to you, please, imaginary friends. Hello, everybody. Um, we are imaginary friends. Uh, if I can, if we can get a, a few suggestions in the chat, so we are going to use them uh, in a minute. <laughs> I see in the suggestions a day at the beach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so um, uh, I've been uh, thinking that uh, we should enter the marathon this year. I thought we talked about this. I know, I know we did talk about it, but you know, I think we're ready. I mean, it's April. We've kept up that New Year's resolution. You know, we've done the couch to 5K. Yeah, we've been... Yeah, no, we've been running nonstop and we're in peak physical condition, but yeah. I can't, I can't show my face there again after, you know, I couldn't find the bathroom. I, I had to keep running and Dude, they, they like it was so embarrassing when I got to the finish line. How many people run this race? I mean, how many, like five, six, seven? Thousands. Yeah. Thousands, that's even more than five, six, seven. And I mean, every year, a small sample of them are going to, you know, urinate or defecate along the track. It's just, it's par for the course. Up to the finish line. Um. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, uh, <clears throat> you're okay? Um, I, I got third, but... Um, I'm, um, it's just pouring out and everyone is just laughing at me. And, they're not laughing at um, you, man. They're laughing with you. They're celebrating your triumph. <laughs> no, they're, the, that reporter is clearly taking pictures of it dripping down and, and I, I just, I It's an embodied experience. I can't. They're celebrating this kind of carnal achievement of, you know, pushing your body to the limits. Oh my God, look at that guy. He shit his pants. <laughs> oh my God, look at him. <laughs> what a oh. fool. <laughs> oh, he's looking like a loser. Total loser. It happens, you know. <laughs> so, um, dude, don't worry about what happened last time. Nobody even noticed. This time, I was second place. Second place. You know, 
I don't know, maybe wear some dark colored trousers. I'm pumped. I mean, quit. Oh, it's, it, it is embarrassing, I know. Um, but it, it happens to everyone. It happens to everyone. Well, look, I mean, it is embarrassing for him, but I don't think he, you know, I don't think that, I don't think people, I don't think it's a big deal, right? I think people shit themselves, people puke, you know, it's, it's part of being, you know, bringing your whole body to the event, isn't it? I think we're putting too much pressure on him. I mean, he's he's just five. Does he have to do all of these like mud runs and, and triathlons? Uh, maybe he just, I don't know. How do you feel, little Derek? Do you, what do you want to do? Um, I just want to play with my friends and I, I, I don't want to run anymore. Edit. Uh, keep Derek. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, we are the uh, sports brand, the Lululemon. We want to hire you as our uh, model for next year because you are the most famous runner in this country and your body just look perfect. What do you say? I've been trying to escape this legacy for, for years now. But you know what? I'm going to embrace it. And if I can make money off of it, even better. So you've got yourself a model. And, you know, if I have to fake shitting myself on a runway, I'll do it. I'm going to sell out. That's great. Then we are on the same page. Actually, that picture on the newspaper makes mm -hmm. you famous. And I think mm -hmm. we can use it as a free promotion. It, I, yeah. One time I, when I was about 12, I, um, I went on a date. It was like one of my first dates. And I remember I was eating a hamburger and I was trying to be like really cool and hip. And I, I did this really kind of affected kind of laugh, kind of, <laughs> but my mouth was kind of full of food and kind of a mixture of Coca-Cola and hamburger passed out of my mouth uh, and my nose onto the plate. It was one of the most humiliating memories I've ever had. So let's talk about some business plan. Uh, yeah, our um, promotion or marketing department think uh, P is not really uh, like thing for everyone. So what about you can put uh, like a beer, wines, other things while you are running? I am the pristine pair of Lululemon running pants, which have been nominated for Mr. Johnson's debut on the runway. I can feel it. I know he's going to pee while wearing me. I know that is going to be the best possible outcome. Worst things will happen. He may puke. I don't deserve this. I'm new and beautiful. So what you're saying is cross promotion. Uh, you know, I, I'm sipping a, a Carlsberg and then it, you see the pee coming out at the same time. I Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what, if you're going to sell out, go big. So I, I'm for that. Um, and, you know, if, if you if you have any other products you need me to 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 put on my body, go for it. Get it. A lot. Keep you, hun. Uh, I, I just don't know, Meredith, this, um, this product line is really basic. I mean regular regular underwear you know tidy whities like are we really doing that again hey boss uh, i know this is very basic but based on our recent uh, market research people are now back to this basic lifestyle so actually they are focused on the core value of life so i think it's a good idea to go back to the basic and then introduce the reintroduce the pureness of simple life I hear you. Um, simple life. Um, it, it could be a great, uh, a great campaign. I, 
I'm just not sure how we're going to be different and simple at the same time. You know, we can just sell like white underwear and we let people to color them, to paint anything they want. So it's, it's called customization. And we don't need to do anything to sell pure white cotton underwear. So, so maybe they get like a, like a set of crayons with their underwear. Um, maybe there's like a tie-dye situation. Wow, see, you got inspired by that. Isn't it a good idea? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess I could be, I guess I could be into that. Um, I mean, there's also this whole thing about like, you know, the, the tidy, the, the whiteies, they get, they get stained pretty easily, right? Um, yeah. Where um, I just, yeah, I, I wonder. Got it. Keep Ginny. Yep. We can't keep lying to her. It's been working for years. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but I just, I don't think it's fair. I really don't think it's fair. I, I mean, I think we, we need to point out to her that um, it's not a good look. It's it's selling, you know. You know what kids are these days. It's like, I mean, who are we marketing to, right? Um, now, uh, you know, the hobo slob look is coming back. I mean, I, I can't help that. It's a TikTok phenomenon. Are we tarnishing our brand name? Maybe, but um, look, well, are, the it, happy? are the investors happy though? I, I mean, I I don't think they are. I mean, our market value it's going down. Like, uh, yeah, this one. What were you calling it? Like homeless hobo? Swing, swing door autumn. Welcome, my daughter. Um, welcome to um, to confession. Um, uh, how long has it been? It's been a few months now. Yeah, I know. I've fallen back. I've fallen down and on my duties. I should have been in here more often. No problem. No problem at all. Um, you mind if I smoke while we do this? Sure, sure. No, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, what what's been um what's been what's been troubling you? Oh, oh, actually, do you mind sharing that? Just kind of like passing it, like. Well, it's, it's not really a cigarette, but sure. I mean, go well, for I it. Well, I can smell. I can smell it. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no. oh. oh man is that incense i don't think that's incense that's not what incense smells like no this is just disgusting <sighs> i just feel the wave <laughs> so um my child um you know i how, how have things been going in the fashion industry? Anything which has been, you know, uh, troubling you or, you know, playing on your conscience? Yeah, actually, I, I, I've been lying to, I've been lying to a friend of mine. Actually, my, my coworker, like we've been lying to a woman that works for us. Yeah, I. And I. I have to say, uh, you know, it's not my favorite. Um, it, it, I'm trying to be a manager of integrity, yeah. but in this case, uh, she's just more creative when you when you're when you're yanking your chain a little bit. Look, I've got to tell, I've got to tell you, my, my child. Normally, I take um, you know I take lying pretty lightly. You know, not a big deal about it. But you know, <clears throat> I'm a cool father, but. You already work in a shitty industry. The, be the word, least you could do is be a decent human being to your employees, don't you think? Yeah, I no, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, we, we, it's better if we sort of lie to them, we sort of egg them on, we sort of like feel, make them feel like really bad about themselves. It's underwear. It's meant to be a dirty industry, you know? 
Yeah, I mean, I get it, but like shit stains on your underwear, it's just not, it's not attractive. And I, and I, I just feel like we need to like, like point that Go out. Go back to Autumn and Jenny. Well, if you want to break the news to her, um, you're fired. How's that? Fired? Are you kidding? I started this business. You can't fire me. We'll see about that. Edit. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, I have like um, um, uh, about two thousand in my in my pocket, and like, uh, and then I, I think I will not get that college degree. Like, do you want to invest in some business? You know. Um. I mean. So, I mean, do you, do you have an idea for a business or like? I don't know, like, you know, anything that has not been taught by, by others, like it should be like first time it should come from us, you know, like, I don't know, maybe bring some vintage, vintage feeling, like, I don't know. Okay, oh. vintage feeling. I mean, everything, you know, that was old is sort of like new again. You hear about this cycle of, you know, every 20 yeah. years or so a fad comes back or. I heard that like high heels or like, you know, um, uh, panties, lingerie. So th that that we can make benefit, uh, like a lot of profit actually. Yeah, yeah. Lingerie? Lingerie, yeah. Lingerie for so, but Lingerie here's the here. two for Chicago. We'll be boarding from gate three in 12 minutes. Okay. Well, okay. I so, mean, I mean, elevator pitch. I mean, we've got a few minutes before our, before mm -hmm. our flight like boards. Um, mm -hmm. Well, so here's the thing like you, but you want to do something new in the industry. How about lingerie for men? I mean, I don't know about you, but I'd love to see a man in a thong. Yeah, this might be a bit like um, a nice unusual banana hammock. Banana for this hammock. Yeah. county, yeah. but um, yeah. you know, we cannot know before we try. So, like, why don't we do like a a, a test run the next week? Like, you call your like three best friends, I call mine, and then let's see how 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 that works. Well, I have a better idea. I'm just gonna. I'm wearing a skirt. I'm just gonna slip my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. No, 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 I want it here, airport. here, here, no, but you can put these on, go ahead. Skirt, I, I'm really uncomfortable, I, 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 I'm not, this is, we're out on the, on a public train platform, I mean, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be just, just manhandled and, and, and put on in public, I, well, what am I here, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to be worn under. I'm supposed to keep things concealed and tight. I'm not supposed to be just out there, just blown in the wind. This guy's a perv. Okay. So here, here, why don't you go slip these so on? So how about if I just put it on top of my pants? So, so we, we see the underwear is <laughs> falling on the floor and the janitor just took it and take it into the janitor's cart and then it, it goes together with the trash into a huge trash bin. The trash bin is, sit, is standing in the middle of a huge square, in the public square. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, I was looking for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly like can you can you put it uh uh please please it's not it's not yours sir mine it's not yours no, mine. Dead. Oh, put me put me back where you got me stop oh i'm really uncomfortable it's mine i mean you're working at the airport every day you find uh cheap things like uh, forgotten things and that this is mine that is very precious piece i fought you for it i fought you for it it's mine it's mine no, no violence, please. Put me back where you got me. I don't belong to either of you. Sir, there is a security around and I don't want to I don't want to hit you in the face, okay? So please give my tongue back. No, do it. Hit him in the face. Get me back. Hit him in the face. We cut I back to Autumn and Uma. 
five minutes, five minutes. Oh, sorry about that. So I think we need to take the flight now and then you'll feel a bit like, you know, airy. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, there. yeah, I mean, I got a nice breeze down there going commandos awesome and everything. And I have to tell you, just can you do a little spin for me? Of course. Edit. <laughs> Edit. Edit. I don't think that's, you know, you, you come five minutes late. I'm so sorry. That's not going to work this time, honey. Sorry. Well, look, I mean, you're early, right? You're always early. And I'm like, so you can't really point the finger at me. You're not on time either. <laughs> so here, <laughs> we give the decisions. And then you are here for audition, so better uh, you, you should have uh, come by earlier. Okay, but I mean, like, <laughs> you know, the part and the success waits for the right candidate. So does it really matter all that much if I'm late? If you have that starlight, honey, we will probably feel it when you enter the room, but it's been like two minutes or so. I don't okay. feel any starlight over there. Should I go? Should I come back in? I just want to like tell this guy off. I just want to be the. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Uh, I'm a star, man. I'm a star. Look, I've got antlers. Look, I know the part that you're hiring for is for a person who halfway through the script, she arrives late. She arrives late to her meetings. She arrives late to the train station. That Honey. is like in the sides that you gave me, that is this Honey. character. So I'm just being method right now. Honey, this is my 25th uh, audition today. Um, and I cannot take any more. So like, what, what about like you go downstairs? So there is a a new uh, startup. So they, they sell this uh, homemade uh, lingerie. Maybe you could find a job there. I don't know. I Listen, don't know. First of all, don't honey me. But second of all, you know, I think I was kind of born for what you're describing. I think I need to go and check it out. It is. So uh, I've been thinking about making a, a film about the experience of my my great um, my great friend Derek Johnson, and uh, I think that you would be great for the part. All I need you to do is just demonstrate that you can. Um, if you could just shit your pants just a little bit, I just needed to run a little bit, just so I can sort of see it through the. Uh, <laughs> through the uh, Let me just position myself appropriately. No, no, no but you, you've got to be in motion, right? You, you, look, you're coming third in a marathon. You gotta be running and shitting at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sounds good. Are you getting this? Just oh, you... okay. a little flower on the back of the uh, of the yoga pants. That, that's the idea we need. It's gonna rock the market. Everybody wants I... to watch people shit their pants. I can already see like five golden globes. I'm shitting my pants right now. <laughs> that money. I can smell the money and the shit, but also the money. This is a shit gold mine. Mm hmm And scene. That's it. That's our piece, ladies and gentlemen. That's the uh, Imaginary Friends does carousel is the name of that form. Um, what a full day of improv. I love that. If anybody of you are paying attention to the underpinnings of that, that has the skeleton of Laron with, with an expansion. Does everybody want to introduce yourself and say where you're, where you're coming in from? 
on Imaginary Friends? So we are imaginary friends. We met uh, actually like uh, like we are coming from four different time zones. Like some of us from Europe. Uh, um, we have Switzerland in the house. We have Ireland. We have uh, Netherlands, and we have uh, U.S. Uh, and and uh, Sweden. Yes, and individually we are Autumn from San Jose, Jenny from San Jose, Eric from Los Angeles. I'm um, Matthew Hello. from Utrecht in the Netherlands. Erla from Cork, Ireland. And Omar uh, from Switzerland, Basel. Uh, Johan from Stockholm, Sweden. Isn't that amazing? Mickey, this is the beauty. This is the silver lining of these dark times, without a doubt. So, yeah, you all, thanks for joining us today. And we're just going to leave. And thank you to Xander Manting Brewer. This is his tech debut. Xander, you did such a great job. Kudos. Thank you, Xander. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Now we're still live, right? So I don't know if we can hear the music or not, but just we can pretend like we're hearing the music and dance. And there we go. Yeah. As soon as it stops, we're going to party, guys. We're going to party. And we stay here, right? We'll go, uh, wait. We stay here or go to a different room? <laughs> <laughs>